God bless y'all. It's another segment here of Kingdom Business. You already know what it is. Subscribe to my channel below. Get these messages out there. Be a light to somebody who is in darkness. We want to be able to get in touch every single person around the globe and in our community and different households, different families, different children to be able to understand the messages that I'm sending by the anointing that God has placed over my life to be able to touch people individually. So please be a light, subscribe to my channel and continue to be up, continue to stay on my channels to be updated about new videos and new events that's coming up here in Kingdom Business. Today's topic is how to discern and to detect a wolf in church clothing. Uh, I remember I put a picture up uh, on Kingdom Business on Instagram and also Facebook about a wolf and church clothing holding a Bible and I said beware of church folks Beware of them wolves in church clothing. And many people loved it. Many people said, wow, that is very powerful. And it is very powerful because you must understand that you cannot associate with a wolf if you're a sheep. You see, a lot of people don't understand that it's very true that a wolf kills a sheep and takes his clothing and tries to sneak into the pack to continue to feed his family, to continue to feed his pack by killing these sheep. We must understand how to detect one. One of the best ways to detect a wolf in church clothing is this. They gossip 24-7. You know them. Oh, is that sister such and such? Oh, who she thinks she is? Oh, she got a new car? Oh, she got this and that? He got this and that? Oh, look at their family. They think they're all that now because they got a little bit of money in their bank account. No. That's not why. You don't do that. You don't say that. You don't act that type of way if you consider yourself a sheep of God's. You see, a wolf gets angry because a sheep is being blessed. You see, a sheep will never attack a wolf because a sheep is out of love. A sheep comforts. A sheep knows his parameter, his area that he needs to be in. A wolf doesn't care. A wolf likes to distract. A wolf likes to scatter the pack. And the same thing we see in the church is a lot of people coming in the house of Yahweh and they're specifically dropping and killing people without even noticing by their words. Uh, the way that they're dressed, they come looking like a sheep, but deep within they have a wolf heart. And it's very important to discern this. Because if you're associating with a wolf, they're going to kill your sheep's life. And you are a sheep of God. And you cannot allow a wolf to take you off your track and continue to have you follow the wolf's way rather than your shepherd's way. You see, we are sheep and we follow our shepherd. How can you follow your shepherd when you are astray with a wolf? This is why it's very important when the Bible speaks about in the book of Joel, it says, how can two walk together unless they are in agreement? And Jesus says in the book of Matthew, how can two walk? How can two blind walk together? One of them will end up, both of them will end up falling in a ditch or in a hole. See, this is very important. If you continue to walk with a wolf, you're going to fall and copy that wolf's momentum, that wolf's ways, that wolf's lifestyle. And you don't want to be under that momentum. Of a wolf you want to be under that a momentum of a sheep because we are called to be a sheep and God is our shepherd and he leads us so we become astray by gossiping we come astray by envying we come astray by jealousy we come astray by just simply just putting negative things in our mind a wolf thinks negative and a sheep thinks positive how can you walk with something that is negative when you're trying to be positive? You know them. They yell to the top of their lungs, Hallelujah! Yes, God! Yes! Start speaking in all type of tongues. But yet, their heart is far from Yah. They come in and they sow their seeds every single day. But yet, their heart is far from God. They come in, they know the scripture, they can, quote, they can quote from Genesis to Revelation, but yet their heart is far from God. They come in dressed, smelling nice, they hug you, they say, God bless you. And what they really mean is that I can't stand you. 
Can you hear the wolf in your ear? Or are you entertaining that wolf? God has not called you to go astray, but God has called you to walk with him. Be one with him. Let him abide in you so you can abide in him. God is trying to abide in you, but you're abiding in a wolf. You know them wolves. They come in and you ask them for a ride and you say, sister, will you be here? Yeah, they'll be here. And not even knowing that they can make excuses so you can miss the house of God. But yet they're in the house of God. But they've told you specifically the day before, oh, I'm going to be there to pick you up, sister or brother, such and such. But they're not there. That's a tactic of the wolf. And you have to be very discerned and see and smell and sense that you are messing around with a wolf. And when you mess around with a wolf, a wolf will end up killing you. Stop messing with wolves and understand that you are a sheep and you operate by a sheep because you are under the greatest shepherd ever known to man. And that is Yahweh, Yahshua. Jesus the Christ. Get away from them evil spirits. Stop mentoring these evil spirits. Let God deal with the wolves. You're a sheep. Stay as a sheep. Act like a sheep. Walk like a sheep. Eat like a sheep. Breathe like a sheep. Be a sheep. That is what you are. That is what God has saved you from was hanging out with the pack of wolves to be in the pack of the sheep the more that you entertain something it's a known fact that you will become that something if you entertain gossip you will become gossip if you entertain jealousy you will become jealousy it's a known fact it all goes back to that sowing and reaping you reap what you sow you're not here to associate with a wolf. Let God deal with the wolf. You are a sheep. Associate with your flock. You are nothing more than a sheep. God has not called you to be a wolf and a sheep. God doesn't mix that. God has made you a sheep for a reason. To continue to add to his flock. Add, add. The reason why a sheep will go astray is because that sheep is not understanding or hearing his shepherd's voice. And when you, if you say that you love God and obey his word, why are you toying with wolves? Why are you entertaining that stuff? Because it's clearly that you are deaf to the voice of Yah and not understanding the voice of Yah. Because now you go back and see, you read the scriptures and you say, well, this fits me and have not broken down into his whole context and understanding what he's truly trying to say. You as a sheep messing with a wolf is like somebody doing laundry, mixing colors and whites together. It just doesn't go together. Obviously, something's going to come out wrong. The whites obviously going to look a different color. No, God has called you to be the whites. Not with the colors. God doesn't want you to mix with that. God wants you to be able to discern and understand that just because they say hallelujah, they sow, they come to church dressed well nice, they quote scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, Revelation to Genesis, that you think that God wants you to associate with that. It don't matter because what you see is somebody that's quoting scripture. But the devil knows how to quote scripture. The devil knows how to preach. The devil knows how to tie. But yet you swear that this person is sent from God. No. It's sent from your emotions. It's sent from how you want things to be. Follow your shepherd. Yahshua. He is the one. He is the only one. He is the way. The truth and the life. And no man. Shall see God, but by him. Understand that concept. You are a sheep. God bless y'all. And get this message out there. Subscribe and continue to stay updated to my new videos that's going to be coming out. And events that's going to be coming out here at Kingdom Business. And I pray that you all have a blessed day. God bless.